scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Desperate communication of the Spirit. It was a desire to see the fire of God. It was a desire to see authentic apostolic revival break out in cities. It's a very, very prophetic song. These are deep songs. These are the kinds of songs the Bible calls the songs of Moses. Songs that stem out of a bowel of hunger. They are not songs to make money. They are not just songs that you communicate to while away time. It's a song that you sing when you truly have passion for the things of God. Can we sing this song one more time with revelation? Let the weight of your glory fall. communication of our desire for true revival. Yahweh. Yahweh. That's all. Just a very simple song. Christ say, Yahweh. the veil. Let the veil be rent into two and let us see deeper. Holy is the one who reigns. Holy is 
the one who reigns. Worthy is the one who sits up fire. Mabala Basila Mambre Shalakare. Sheba Kapradila Manakatai. Sika Parekatai. Come on, just press and let's worship for a while. There is a spirit of worship. Adonai, you're the Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. This is our travail tonight. Let your kingdom break in our heart. Adonai. 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 Sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in tongues. We sing to you a new song, O God. God I tell you the portals of heaven are open mightily over this place 
The hunger of a man can draw the presence of God. And when he shows up, you are changed. As we bask in your glory, oh God, let us be changed. We are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow. We will travel until we see the glory of God arise upon this nation and upon the continent of Africa. We travel on behalf of Nigeria, the firstborn of God in Africa. We will not sell our birthright, but we will contend to represent authentic apostolic Christianity to the nations. We strive to see your kingdom come. This is our desire, Lord. Beyond everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be opened. When his kingdom comes. Then once again we will hear the authentic sound. Of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion. And every noise of tradition and falsehood. Hallelujah. Jesus, we seek only one thing, not the building of a ministry, not the fame of men of God. We seek only one thing, that we become envoys of your kingdom, men who are furnished by the fires of the Spirit. Men of understanding and power. Men of light. We give you praise. Tonight I pray that the bread of the Spirit be broken. We contend for the hallowed bread of the Spirit. Show us deep things, O oh God. Cause our eyes to be opened. Reveal your glory in strange dimensions. Open us up, O oh God. Let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. And may we become mighty men. May we become mighty men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please greet one another and be seated. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It was a great time of worship. Please be seated. Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit.
We are not chasing after shadows. We are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in him not just what he can give not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah We are the hope of this world. You must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the, the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the Garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity. It was called the tree of life. It had the, the capacity to give life. And that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God. So as we receive the word of God, there is an unveiling of the reality of this life this zoe life that we talk about hallelujah praise the lord i'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed people did not know that this was how far god would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising now there's an army There's an army rising now to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army We're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain. hallelujah the prophet began to speak malachi the prophet started speaking and he said there will be a sign that will characterize the coming of jesus he says shortly before the day of the lord elijah will come again hallelujah did you know that the bible never tells us anything about elijah's birth origin it just tells us this, this.
this wicked system this she goddess called jezebel who was married to the king jezebel was a witch she was not a wife that's why she reappears in revelation again in the book of revelation jezebel reemerges again hallelujah the personality jezebel was an adumbration of a system hallelujah and the bible says during her time the prophets of god suffered so much the prophets of baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of god suddenly a strange man without origin just imagine the bible says and elijah the tishbite from where he came we don't know we don't know who where he was taught the things that he knew the bible says he was a representative of a spirit elijah represented the sword of god and the bible says when he showed up he showed up for one assignment to conquer that she goddess and afterwards he left who is this strange man because we see him reimagine again jezebel is still in revelation elijah is still in revelation where did he come from did he just appear and elijah the tishbite where was he trained who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find and elijah the tishbite rose up as a cry the prophets of god were suffering only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called obediah no prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of god and the bible says in response to their cry one great prophet elijah the tishbite a single man who terrorized the system of jezebel and brought her to her knees and the bible says before the day of the lord elijah will come back again but he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation are you getting my point and is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the old testament nobody understood nobody knew about the training he was it was a strange manifestation the bible says elijah the tishbite and this is the making of elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and elijah the tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system i need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of elijah is to come in with a dimension of god that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why i raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the Elijah spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we are going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge. Hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives we have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus 
First Timothy 4 verse 1. Let's rush. He won't stop till we look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till we look just like him. God is birthing something strange in these days God is revealing something new in our midst He won't stop He won't stop until we look just like Him He won't stop He won't stop First Timothy 4 verse 1. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Stop. The Bible says in the latter time, there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron. Verse 3. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. The last verse, verse 4. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving. Let's just stop there. Hallelujah. We're examining three things tonight. Tonight, we're going to be studying the scripture hallelujah everybody say i receive light when when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your English. It's not your degree. Hallelujah. But the degree of light. The degree of light. When you see the spiritual structure of a believer, you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light. Are you following me now? So, at the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was. Are you getting me? It was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it. And every time we come before his presence, by revelation, we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light. And the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity. And that's a product of revelation. The difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms. Information just gives you awareness. If it is revelation, it must change you. It was designed to change you if you truly understand it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the latter days, verse 1 again please, that men will give room to deceiving spirits. Who are these spirits? Where did they come from? What is their ministry? Please pay attention, brothers and sisters. We are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence, you will die. Are you following me now? We need it as a matter of urgency. In every generation, there is always a contention of light and darkness. There are people who just go around as social beings. But there are certain people 
who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God if Elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ the continent of Africa and especially our dear country Nigeria Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa we are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality hallelujah and it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church, you can get it and listen. A departure from, not, listen, listen please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God. Everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man. Are you following me now? There is a pattern. God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way. It has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him. So apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits, men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God. And the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith. What faith? Christianity? No! 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 God never called us Christians. What is the faith? The pattern there is a pattern that our fathers followed. They knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises. And that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern. Otherwise, we are going to lose it and we'll miss it, not just as a continent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Hallelujah. Say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13. Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 13. Matthew 13.
Let's start from verse 23. Or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. That man, listen, that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did he start? He started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. He began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light. No more illumination. There's no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept. Hallelujah. While men slept, when they began to intercourse with Babylon, when they began to respond to the promptings of this Antichrist system, when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of God, the Bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits. Are you following me, please? And they started embracing the doctrines of demons. And men slept. And then the enemy came and did what? So tears. This is what is happening to the Nigerian church. There is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit. And all of them are being mixed in our churches, in our parishes, in our assemblies. And right now there is so much confusion. It will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of Elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of God hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what that means when they sowed it, it was there as a tendency, but it had not yet manifested. Are you getting my point now? A lot of people started ministry, hearing the voice of God, but they did not stay in the spirit for the Holy Ghost to keep walking, walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like Christ. Eventually, as the ministry started expanding, as the membership started expanding, they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing. Verse 27. It says, So the servants of the owner came and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed? In other words, who gave these pastors this message? Where did this rema come from? Where did this doctrine, these revelations that we have built ministries, we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom? The Bible says they ask a question. Did you not sow good seed? What happened on the way? How then does it have tears? 28. This is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God he said no the, see he said the enemy has done this and the servant said to him do you want us to go and gather them that means should we start pruning he said no nah, in the midst of these tears there are genuine people they are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation so let them grow verse 28 29 now he says but he said no lest while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things 
but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of God and except the spirit of Elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest I will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what this is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so these men began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. Paradventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for, trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say, Marry me. She didn't say, Sleep with me. 
she didn't say give me money are you following me now she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he would conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes I need you to know that all these women you see in the Bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will Herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that I want the head of John the Baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in Bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation, this is the error that many people have carried. They have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate. But the spirit of Elijah comes dividing the word of God accurately. Hallelujah. All through scripture, we'll do a quick drive if it's possible. As we, as we continue. And let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle. The battle of light and darkness. Are you getting my point now? For instance, the Bible tells us that before the coming of the Lord again, there will be a repetition of the days of Noah. Did you read that in your Bible? What happened in the days of Noah? Because you see, when Satan fell, when Satan fell, there are so many things in my head now. Let, let's just continue wherever we stop. Do you know what Satan told the angels that made them to comply? Don't you think Satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him? Are you getting my point now? Because of Satan's access to the presence of God, he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah 8 uh, in, in 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 um uh what now isaiah 14 now I will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season Uh, 
help us Lord help us Lord help us Lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when Adam and Eve when Adam knew his wife and she gave birth to Cain listen please Satan thought that Cain was going to be the person that God will use because they, he knew that God would need a man. Are you getting me? So Satan entered Cain. Are you getting my point now? See, I'm talking of the activity. Please, let's go to 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 again. The, I want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits. Can you see where it started from Lucifer? Deceive the angels. Are you getting my point now? And they came down when man fell. Deceived Eve. Satan always changes the patterns of God because every time God when God designed family please listen and, and, and ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when God designed family I hope you know that God made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through God according to his structure should go to the man notice how Satan changed it Satan went to the woman are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same that means when you sustain the eye of prophecy you can detect him at once are you learning something please so Cain is born and Satan makes a bargain with Cain and Cain begins to manifest another spirit and then the Bible says how that Abel shows up and Satan suspecting that God may use Abel began to move Cain to kill Abel. Are you seeing why Cain? Why will Cain kill his brother? See, it's time for you to begin to study the word not just to get sermons, but for spiritual knowledge. Ask questions. Why will Cain just kill the, his brother? What for? Are you getting my point now? When Cain killed his brother, in a passage of time, the Bible says Cain started building a city. The Bible never told us that Cain was an architect. What made him to start lusting after building a city? It was the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you seeing? Because God wanted to build a city and name it after his son. So the spirit of the Antichrist through Cain built a city and named it after Enoch, his son. And that was where atrocity started from. Are you getting my point now? And then it got to the time of Noah. God suffered long with them. When it got to the time of Noah, listen to me, listen to me. Noah was a very strange man. He was not just an old bald headed man. Noah walked with God. Are you getting me? Noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark. The ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth. It was a prophetic message. Are you getting my point now? Noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation. He talked with God. He communicated with God. He understood the mystery of the flood. And that was the reason why, listen please, listen, listen when they came out shem ham and japheth there were eight people again satan started looking for somebody else to enter are you getting my point so satan entered ham are you getting my point point? and the bible says he saw his father's nakedness he did not just see his father's nakedness it's a coded word he saw into the secret of what noah was supposed to preserve why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused king i mean harm 
and the cause that was given to him if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through him go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of Cush, who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen i think i was talking to um the the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and i told them that i've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing I believe in faith but i've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers I trust God that will arrive safely. I've never learned how to fly this plane, but you guys just sit back, sit back and 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 and, and enjoy. There's Jehovah Jireh, there's Jehovah Sikenu, there's our banner and all of that. And then the people sit down and say, Hallelujah, let's just be confessing. We will arrive. We will arrive. Plane corporate. We are now at 3,000 feet. Nobody does that. Are you getting my point now? So faith is not a mystery it has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that god said it i may not understand it i don't care i want i don't want to understand it all i know is that satan is the bad guy jesus is the bad guy we are for jesus let's win him this is what americans are are shipping into nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people whereas the bible says do not be unaware of the stratomai satan is not an idiot he has a, a strategy this guy stayed close to the presence of god are you learning something tonight so you see it nimrod kush he said go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft nimrod kush according to bible history was the son of kush who married a woman called samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important samiramai was a witch these were people that were possessed they were incarnates of hell are you getting my point envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of god samira might killed kush her husband are you getting me and satan came and interplayed this thing satan came and 
made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the, the, do I call it the genetic code of human beings? Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now the son, I don't know what, what they are going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen. This was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself. Because in Revelation, when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with, it called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time. You see, this time thing i wish like i feel like busy seeing this watch praise god <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it praise the lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word, but I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person i want to show you how they use necromancing and when they do that they invoke that and the bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and saul and saul told her i said who do you, do you see him tell me about his appearance and saul from and samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is saul and she turned she said ah, ah are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like mere men. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Diviners and different people. Let me tell you something that happened. See, most of these entities that you call, how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits? Have you heard that word? Disembodied spirits. What does that mean? That means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration 
Jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man, it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate. There is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body, you cannot function here. Are you getting my point? Let me tell you how this demon started. I hope we have time. Can I talk to you? See, the Bible says, listen, demons are not the, uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom. Demons are just a class of wicked spirits. There are others. For instance, principalities. They are not demons. Are you getting me? I have come to the end of myself. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Listen. I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen. How many of you have seen certain people, maybe those who do a lot of occultic things, when they leave their body, they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body. You know why? Because they must return the same way they left. If you shift their body, they are not dead, but the spirits cannot return to the body again. Are you understanding what I'm saying? There are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm. Please listen to me. I want to tell you some things that will bless you. We said this is a year of light. This is solid meat. Light that keeps you in command. Dominion will happen naturally. You don't claim it. Light brings you into it. Are you getting my point? We are, we are demystifying this deity called Satan. Once and for all. So that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church. Listen. Satan led these demon spirits. Are you getting? I mean angels now. Are you getting my point? Now this was what because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves. Is that true? That means they can change state. There are different kinds of angels. Maybe when we deal with angels, we talk there is a northern army. There are different, there are messenger angels. There are cherubs, there are seraphs. There are different kinds of angels. Now, Satan led a campaign and told these guys, together with, I've, I've, I said it the last time, Apollyon, Leviathan, have you heard of all these spirits? They were real spirits together. Satan didn't just do alone. It was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion. And if it worked, it would be chop by chop. So all the demons that helped him, are you getting my point now? <laughs> when you read the book of Psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak, you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Can we continue? All right. Please make sure you are listening. This is not... Let me tell you something with revelation. If you get too used to it, the devil can use it and kill you. Are you getting my point? He won't kill you just by oppressing you. He will make you so puffed up. Revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you. But anybody who wants to talk to you, you will begin to break these scriptures. And say, let me give you a rundown of how everything started. And then it's not... Help. This is what is happening. So we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah 
and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they call x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of definition they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which country is ahead of nigeria time wise what what is uk how can you say uk us let's let's just assume please listen we, we don't have time let's assume australia how many of you know that when australia is saying 18th we are still in 17th so that ability to peep ahead that's what happens in the realm of the spirit because of the regulation of times and seasons are you getting my point it, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us so God. take me to the place the place you are that secret place take us Lord that's where I want to be take me to the place the place you are a secret, place. a secret place that's where I want to be that's where I want to be let's rush error number one I touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but I just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way I want so I want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be listen to me I don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even we the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cds free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh 
but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these, these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again it was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell i will show you the mystery of what is happening i wish we have time tonight i would have shown you something powerful It's the strategy of the devil the people are innocent are you getting my point don't be angry at the people they do not even know that they themselves are under deception Paul says, I was caught up to the third heaven. That means there are other heavens. There is the astral realm. There are a lot of other realms. There are galaxies. All of these galaxies and planets. I hope you know some of them have inhabitants. This is the mystery of aliens. This is the mystery of aliens. There is a lot of story we don't know in the earth. They just gave birth to you in the middle of history. It's what they taught you from social studies to what again? Social science. History, government. And then you read political science or whatever it is. And you believe you know the world. No, there is a lot more. There is a lot more. Hallelujah. There is a lot more. There is a lot in this earth realm that we have. There are portals in this realm. There are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings. They are moving like you. They talk. You've eaten with some of them in the restaurant. They are not pure breeds. These are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming. I read an article as far back as 19... I have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground. Is that true? They went underground. And they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people. And there is an altar in the middle. When you stand in that altar and talk, they will hear you everywhere. No mic. Verified scientifically. Don't you know there is a world under the earth? Philippians chapter 2. That every knee is not just talking about hell alone. What have they not told us brothers and sisters that is responsible i will show you how this applies so that you will see how your family got into it your innocent father from the village was just moving around nothing missing nothing broken he entered into what he didn't understand look at what a lot of believers are suffering it today and one of the error one of the error that I wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws. Many of us have, listen, listen, and I don't say this to criticize. There is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message. I've said this thing again and again. Please don't be offended. I'm just telling you the truth in love. 
there is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust God to open our eyes. Not to go and start criticizing people, but to be the light. A reference. The devil is in trouble this year. There are things I will explain to you, you will never be afraid of death again. There are things I will explain to you, you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance, you will understand. Who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down? And later you say in the name of Jesus and all of these kinds of things. We will explain it. When you understand this, I'm telling you, you will just start laughing. You won't even pray. Let me tell you, there are two ways to bind the devil. One is prayer. The other is revelation. When authentic light enters you, you grow out of some things at once. Deliverance is going on right now. It's just that many people, their concept of deliverance is, ah, you fall down, I want to cough, I want to, no, no. It's not, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things. Light is what drives away darkness. Permanently. You see, that's why if, if I deliver Dosin, for instance, I lay hands on her and she rolls, rolls, rolls and stands up, listen, and there is no light. Do you know why certain deliverances are so easy? It's not because the man is powerful. The demons are mocking the man. He has no spiritual intelligence. They just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once. As soon as the person goes out, they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered. This is why you find out that there are many churches and men of God struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance. There is a balance. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them. But my only trouble is what people call word is not what God is calling word because their word is not healing. Their word is not delivering. That means it's not the word. Look at me. Ella is a fair lady. If I tell you Ella is coming to see you, expect a fair lady tying something in her head with, with a ribbon or what is that thing? You see that? Are you getting me? If I suddenly decide to come, am I Ella? If I tell you my name is Ella, this is how many people's revelation. I'm sending the word. It will do this right now. It's not doing it. And the Bible says if it is the word, some things should happen. So if it's not happening, it's not the word. It may be scripture. The word, listen. The word is not just this. Are you getting me? Because until the apostles came, there was no manuscript. But the people understood the word. So what did they call their word? What did they call their word of God? It said, ye are clean through the words that I've spoken to you. That word can clean you. That's what he's doing now. So divine revelations. Let's just look at one scripture. Luke 16. Let's settle this issue once and for all. Please. Can we look at just one scripture? We may not be able to touch the... Honestly, there are three issues I thought we'd be able to talk about. Okay. We're there. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple, royalty, and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus listen every time Jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience 
You understand? In Jesus' parables, he described men by what they did, not their names. Which was laid at his gate. Are you seeing the contrast now? It says, full of what? Source. Verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs, so on and so forth. 24. Okay, no, 23. I saw something I'm looking for there. Ah, we've gone far. Can we go to 22? Let's start from there. And it came to pass that who died? That's Lazarus, right? Lazarus died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. That's another issue there. Hallelujah. And the rich man also died and was buried. So, two of them died. They've now left the earth. Let's see the drama that happened. 23. And in hell, so a definite place, hell, is that true? He lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off. Alright? That's Abraham's bosom, and I'll tell you why. And Lazarus, hey, I had a revelation, brothers and sisters, that opened me up. Do you know? That unlike the teachings we have been teaching that Abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true Abraham slept with Hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic I said come on ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying it is the deadness of his body and this this guy slept with with uh, Hagar and Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place see when i show you these things and as we explore you will see may god help and redefine our christianity you will see that jacob was not a thief jacob was replacing what happened between isaac and ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called god of abraham isaac and esau it's called God of Ab didn't, is God blind? Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. All right, 23. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus that he may dip the, fin dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. Um, that flame is not just fire like you know. Because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here. So what kind of fire will torture their spirit body? It's not just the kind of your fire here. Spirits can walk through this fire. Are you getting me? This is a strange kind of fire. It's a fire that causes thirst. When it destroys you, it not only are you going through pain, but it makes sure that there is thirst. It can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst. And it's very frustrating. Look at this guy. He didn't say let him send um, something to quench the fire. He was asking for a drop of water. And Abraham said, son, Remember in your lifetime you received good things. This guy received evil. But now he's comforted and thou art tormented. 26. Now. Divine revelation. Please listen. And beside this there is a gulf between us. So that they cannot pass here and there and there. We'll talk about this another time. Hades. Abraham's bosom. And so on and so forth. 27. Then he said. Listen. I pray thee therefore father. That that would they send him back to the earth. Are you seeing now? Send him back to the earth to my father's house. So let's see. See, let's walk with what the Bible says. Is that true? Do you believe the word of God? You believe it's the final authority, and you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy. So let's examine the word of God. 28. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you 
their hearts will melt and they will change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they are they are preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they return he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf it gave satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it I, I think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we've won, it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation 
he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the bible talks about a man called apollos he was a learned man in acts 18 the last few verses and the bible says but you knew only the baptism of john is that true and then aquila and priscilla came they called him and they expounded to him more perfectly and he was humble enough to receive and then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently there are lots of people in the body of christ who are under bondage terrible bondage that innocently came but is a product of the spirit of deception for instance there are many people who believe that if i let me use a lady come if i give this lady a hug more ah this this may be a problem i've done something i've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because i have to shift to that religious mold listen please i'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of christ salvation is personal your dealings with god is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow 
do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peck and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness I believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of God comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them I mean I'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default is the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contain these things in the flesh i just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance we're a disciplined army we're not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus Second Corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Shibala kata brende kasi baladaba. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking, listen please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. 4. How that he was caught up into paradise and had what? unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point? I've had a lot of visions. I live in the realm of visions. I can never run ministry just based on visions. Ask the leaders. Every time I see anything, no matter how authentic the experience is, the word of God must prove it, not confirm it. Prove it. Prove it. The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest, you see Bibles there. Because since it's Bible you want, they keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell, they say, lay your hands on the Bible and swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah.
what do I talk about again I want to show you something one other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws I said it everybody say it after me both inside and outside spiritual laws abound they exist they are real as real as physical laws look at me do you know why God did not kill Cain when he sinned because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work are you getting my point and those laws will catch up with him are you following me now when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like God brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of God just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it are you getting what i'm saying curses are real yokes are real manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real they are very real listen these are spiritual laws what light does for us is to tap into what christ has done and exempt ourselves are you getting me let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray that does it for today just one scripture i want to show you a scripture psalm 64 let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was the psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity verse 3 hmm. who wet their tongue like a sword that means these guys speak certain things and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words verse 4 he said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not verse 5 it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they come they commune of lyingness privately they say who shall see them six they do what they search out who are these people that search out they go to an extent where did they write it that they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families are you following me now this is in your bible they search out iniquities he said they accomplish a what diligent search they are meticulous when god opened my eyes to this it surprised me are you getting my point now have you read that word blotting out every handwriting so there are handwritings correct there are ordinances the bible says they search out iniquities hallelujah maybe at another time i will continue this teaching of these angels that i told you because when they fell listen they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of 
traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out I'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but I'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and it fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening 
Hallelujah. But it will take light, brothers and sisters. It takes spiritual intelligence. During the Monday counseling, I was ministering to a lady. And as soon as she came and I casted out the spirit. And at once, the lady just lay down. And the Lord opened my eyes at once. And I saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit. It was laughing. And I said, the Lord rebuke you. The protocol were here. And the, the lady jacked back up. Somebody would have said, thank you, Jesus. And he just get up and say, ah, that's it. And the demons would say, Kai, men of God of these days, they are not powerful at all. Say after me, the light of God is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the Holy Spirit I become a, an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demon say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ha ah, you bath yourself the child will say yes yeah. say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished Bapi and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, so, is a sign that something is wrong with you. Bishop, a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah
Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. I want us to take some time. Please pray. As you pray tonight, certain things will begin to happen in your life. Please, everybody, participate in the prayer. As you pray tonight, something will begin to happen in your families. You will begin to feel the spiritual shift. The devil must give up on you this year and your family members. Hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues, please. Instrumentalists, help us. Hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues. Please pray seriously. Prayer is a spiritual law. It has nothing to do with convenience. Zakata prakata laba koso prakata baladaraba. You are not filled with the Holy Ghost. As we pray, let the power of God come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries. Rekata kaprakata kalaba kata prakata baladaba. Please pray. Rekete koto prakata balabala. Mabroso to pres ko sekete lekete koto baladaba. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Rekoto broska pakata pekata prekata leka maka bresko prende kozema every second telebo kosho prekata balaraba mabra tosko pa ikekea egresko pekete leko tos maka prekata leko tos prekata balaraba meke broske taliaba arise arise by light by revelation arise shake up darkness shake up darkness pray and say I'm changing I'm changing my status is changing there's no more decline I'm on my way to better days to the life God designed for me hallelujah the answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding this age-long puzzle is opening come on pray in the spirit activate breakthroughs in the spirit you are praying out of a depth of revelation Rekete kete kete prakata baladaraba, mam prakata prakasha kete, rekata prakata baladabash, rapoko sote kete, rekete kepo shapariaba, mam prakete lebo koso prakete bosh. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Reke bosh ko prakoto baladaba. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about a higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? You are going to say, Lord, by the light, whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. 
let light shine God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus let there be light let there be light let there be light let there be light, let there be light. prophesy light light to my family light prophesy light to your exams light to your academics the powers that be they must bow tonight by the force of revelation man shall not live by bread alone man shall live by every revelation revelation brings life it brings light it brings power pray babylon is falling that corrupt system that secrecy of evil that genetic code of wickedness that is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You're going to mention every area of your life one by one. And you're going to say, Lord, the chains, they are broken tonight. While we sing, play that song, break every chain. Many of you will be surprised. At the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness Chains of fear, chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains, chains of pornography, chains of masturbation, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of joblessness, chains of failure. Chains of witchcraft Break every chain By the power of the blood of Jesus Break every chain We contend By revelation We storm the gates of hell We storm the gates of hell By the power of light We storm Babylon We prophesy your doom In our lives Babylon the great Falling Babylon the great Falling Hallelujah Two quick prayer points Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the Lord Please pair yourselves into two The Bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you are going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft i 
and culture I contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost we confront you knowing that we have authority of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death, for barrenness, for miscarriages, for failure. Pray limitation of poverty confront poverty that spirit that yoke that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for your financial tragedy confront it it must bow to the power of light for the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend prophesy a recovery prophesy a recovery I call back opportunities for my family I call back I call back their spiritual sovereignty I call back their finances I call back the joy Hallelujah. One more prayer point and we're done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for Koinonia. We're going to say, Lord, let your light shine. People must be liberated. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. Listen. Hear me inside and outside. Every one of you who comes for this meeting, your coming alone is a miracle. Are you hearing me? If you know the powers of darkness, that if they had their way, would stop you from hearing what you are hearing. Ask the people that come for counseling. 90% of them tell you the morning for counseling, something stops them. Or an accident and they almost capsize. The devil hates light. He loves argument. He loves religion. But this year, we are storming the gates of hell. Are you getting my point? A fearless generation. There are things that must be recovered. There is a destiny, the soul of the nation that we must recover. I believe in the power of God, but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people. Your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough. Please listen, listen, take note of it. In a way that is notable enough. In a crowd like this, my brothers and sisters, please reason with me. That in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world, imagine that at the end of this service, only three or four or five people are healed, delivered or lifted. By God's standard, even by human standards, you did a bad job. So you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with God and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river. Shaba Kataya. Flow like a river. So that in one hour, someone who is probably standing, I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow, so let's use it, overflow four. Right? You're just standing at overflow four, hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power 
his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it we're here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a, a a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there mm. hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power mm. his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your result it's important every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done 
what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river i thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of god are not like the ways of men jesus was speaking to nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of god you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of god of non effect it can strangle the potency of god's word but tonight i agree with you and i know that there are people here who are determined that everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so that it will culminate to a tangible result let me tell you this i love jesus christ i love him with all my heart and i made a vow unto god that among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care wasting their time will not be part of it i made up my mind by god that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify no 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 you should come twice to grow you should come twice to learn you should come twice to know god but one encounter should be enough it's true one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow right in on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe apostle i don't even know the name of my situation i've gone to the hospital they have done everything jesus if he said he was just healer would have found reason to be afraid later on but he says i am the resurrection and the life what is resurrection giving life to something that has no business having life resurrection resurrection I am he that was dead but now is alive apostle i came here with my cv is it that god cannot give me a job i've gone around looking for jobs again and again i've applied everywhere god should see my family what then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation what does it mean to be a blessing as a man of god does it mean to preach well does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation as important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may 
glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually i conclude that this man is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real i testify i testify that your goodness is real and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did to sarah as he has spoken trust in the lord how do you trust in the lord take cognizance of his benefits be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust A testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that god is able take your eyes away i repeat take your eyes away please take your eyes away from anything that is not jesus tonight and focus apostle they've prayed for me a prophet just like you prayed for me an apostle just like you prayed for me a pastor even conducted night vigils in our house i know and i respect god and i respect the grace upon that man except that one more thing i did not teach you about the anointing is that not every anointing blesses you the man must be sent there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent when the word of god passes you it does not bless you it is when it is sent he sent not brought he sent forth it was when the king sent for joseph that his life changed when i sent thee lackest thou anything not when you moved around when i sent thee because every time he sends it his integrity is upon it tonight god is sending his word to me to you to us the word that lifts the word for your ministry the word for your life is going to be a quick walk some of you write from the communion 
as you partake from the communion you finish your own miracle service you will just join others in rejoicing it's true you know yesterday i observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life i would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results i don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a god in heaven whatever i came with i must leave it here tonight hmm. it is important god is giving you understanding now when i came into the house of the lord then understood i the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken two men met jesus in m house and they began to discuss the messiah and he was there with them but they could not see and then when he broke bread the bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed my assignment is to continue to study continually by the spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget It doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of man john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hmm. hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast Shananda Prakatos. Shekete Prekete Baladabash. Go ahead and pray, please. Inside, outside. Lift your voices and pray.
are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me we are under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over us we are under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over us. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Senekatabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Senekebrash. And the lega brande zedika shobra gada baladabash krato zazi gada barunde ketosh embra kato zale ke pradish shebra di kafosh rakato bari ada baladabash rakato bari indes ke meritash rakapa rudasi ada baladaba he barando zale karusi ada baladaba. Please keep praying. Hela baranda zazia hasa barando kate prakedi balaraba. Hallelujah. John chapter six. John chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 John chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Not is like my flesh. Is my flesh. Which I give for the life of the world. 52. And the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Stop here. Just, just go back. Just go back. This is what he's saying. That in the flesh of the Son of Man and in the blood of the Son of Man is his life. That the life of the flesh is in the blood. Are we together now? Listen very carefully. So that when you partake, please keep that scripture. When you partake of it with understanding, the Bible says that you are not just taking a wafer, you are not just taking a drink, but that you are, you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of God. Next verse. 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, had, I told you the word there is not eternal life. It's the word zoe. It's not the longevity of the life, but the quality of the life. And I will raise him up on the last day, 55. We're stopping at 56. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The last verse. 
he that eateth my flesh this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him this is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one the same mystery in marriage the same mystery with the spirit of god so that by the mystery of partaking in the communion that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and god's body are we together now yes let me tell you what that means come look at this emeka come watch this if this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong his strength is her own too you understand that are you getting me not part of his strength his strength so if you say she's strong you are right are we together now this is very important now that means that when she's strong and he's weak her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this hallelujah i'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around it's simple enough for you to open you just tear open the wafer and then the drink and please the moment you do do not litter the ground do not litter the ground i don't know what provision has been made for that but if no provision has been made whilst you take it provided you are not under the anointing just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up you can use the off the bowls or whatever you have to have them we're going to pray please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ please pray by wisdom oh God heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the season creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing but i can't Blessed are you, O Lord our God, eternity's holy King. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words bring in the evening. Please pray in one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. It didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion 
receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it father in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands upon this I lay my hands upon this communion representing all others that are not here I decree oh God that in a very strange way may your power flow through this in the name of Jesus let it bring miracles let it bring all kinds of deliverances in the name of Jesus whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of Jesus I declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus let deliverances let devils and demons begin to leave let doors begin to open in the name of Jesus Christ my flesh is meat indeed we partake with understanding we partake with understanding please make sure everybody something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this you will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion Go ahead, take it with faith and watch the wonder-working power, the wonder-working power of Jesus, the wonder-working power of Jesus. bring all those under the anointing out please bring them out quickly while we wait for the rest to finish please just bring them out quickly something is opening up in your spirit man my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Whoa. Please be 
patient tonight God is setting people free when there is understanding to your spiritual activity then the power is released the power is released you will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already mm. my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy I decree in the name of Jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the Christ Right now I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd inside and outside everybody under any kind of bondage I decree be free now be free now I command judgment on strange spirits in the name of Jesus the spirits of ancestry the workings of bloodlines and territories i come against you by the god of heaven where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school. It doesn't make any difference. You can get a job. It doesn't make any difference. Have a business. It doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? 
inside and outside i declare right now the power of god is coming upon you it's time for your family to be released at the count of three one two three be free now be free now be free now i lose your family i set them free i set them free surely there is an end the bible says surely there is an end even weeping endures only for a night i declare freedom on those families now i declare freedom don't be distracted just pay attention please you rise to a level and then you crash back it's a pattern that exists in families there's nothing wrong with rising keep rising but you plateau at a level and then you crash back I stretch my hands now. This is what the Lord is showing me. My God. My God. I decree and declare. The spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame. Represented in anyone here. The legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of Jesus. I release such people right now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. overflow three please lift your hands the lord is showing me something happening in overflow three overflow three please lift your hands mighty god mighty god i see a lot of attacks serious attacks on overflow three i don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there i'm seeing a lot of attacks at the count of three overflow three I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there. Overflow three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison like the front of a prison and i remember scripture says to open to set at liberty them that are bound there are people who are moving but are in prison all sorts of prisons right now i decree and declare even by the power of the holy ghost let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage I declare that those chains are loose now. I declare that those chains are loose now. And for all those in front here, representing all those that I'm praying for, I declare not only that the spirits leave you, but that whatever they took from you, as surely as the God of heaven leaves, your families must testify of that restoration therefore leave them now go go out of them now in the name of jesus release their families release their spiritual lives release their finances paradox is a hasaka paradox here
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this road, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here. And I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here. Something is being removed out of people's stomachs. That's what the Lord is showing me. Just this row. I don't know what it is, but God is uprooting something that should not be there by the Spirit of the living God. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. I place the word of God upon that situation. It must let you go right now. The Lord is taking something out. I still continue to see this vision. God is taking something out of people's stomachs. The spirit of the Lord is there is liberty, there is liberty, there is liberty, there is liberty. I'm seeing the feet of a man, and I'm seeing the feet of a man under chains. Under chains, this is what I see. And the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families. And I declare right now, according to that which the Lord has shown me, in the name of Jesus, that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position, right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now something is happening to people. I decree, I decree, and I declare. Let there be liberty now. Inside, outside, let there be liberty. Right now. Let there be liberty, liberty. I command progress to your life. Move forward. I push you by prophecy. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Make progress. I forbid stagnation. Move forward. Make progress. I don't know how to pray this prayer now those who are fine up here can return to their seats I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people you don't have to bring the people out I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer and my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power. Moving in this place, we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Please someone should join the PR can join the ushers protocol can join the ushers I want to pray There is a grace for speed 
there is an exact grace speed is not progress no no there is a difference between progress and speed i had an encounter with the lord and he placed this grace upon my life if not that it happened i know there is advancement and i know there is speed but i never knew what it was and how it operated until the lord gave me an encounter truly let me tell you there is a real grace for speed and when that grace comes on you you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. Be sensitive, please. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month i know it works when you have this grace on your life you don't fear delay it makes no difference you will gain time within moments i decree and declare by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands inside everywhere overflow one two three online father i pray right now let the grace for speed at the count of three, come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed. Receive it. Receive it. It is not by might nor by power. But by the spirit of God. You can be picked up upon the wings of the spirit. And do things that eyes have not seen. That ears have not heard. I pray it again. Those outside receive it. Those outside receive it. I declare speed. In the similitude of Elijah. You will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually this woman you are seeing as frail as she may look but the hand of god will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of god with power i stretch my hands upon you and i pray that the spirit of god will perfect let there be a birthing a birthing of the things that he has begun upon your life a birthing of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands i don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that god is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what i hear number two this speed that you see i prayed for is coming upon you i stretch my hands 
may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca Please, when you find the person I want to talk to her in the name of Jesus Christ we are going to pray for the sick Kai. this woman is outside you are not inside you are wearing a red like wrapper on your head the same with what is down on you Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this just like that just out of someone this is what i saw in the name of jesus release this family now release this family now in the name of jesus christ madam i'll pray for you your name is rebecca too please come i will pray for you i found the person i'm ministering to but i'll pray for you from where madam from where from area c area c yes sir. i want to pray for you what's wrong with your back back pain yes, yes, this is what i'm true. seeing you it's get up true, in the morning and, and then you feel a lot yes, of pain sometimes yes. you cannot even wash yes, yes. number two your chest too yes, it's true. severe it's chest true around the breast region yes, yeah. true, the lord is setting true, you free right now madam yes, in the name of jesus let it be over right now and forever in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ ah! i just had like a car crash in my ears you know how an accident just happens right now this is what i just had in my ears and that the family that that should happen for is in this place i'm going to pray right now be free now i command death you are a spirit i judge you by the god of heaven and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage i want to pray for you madam in the name of jesus christ that god himself will bless you and not only bless you where are your children madam huh? They're here. your children are here yes. where are they patient Isaac patient Isaac and Sarah this may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick there's a lot patience and Isaac now only glow no day here let me just pray for you if, if you are the only one who can represent them stand up please my friend mama i will pray for you in the name of jesus christ because i'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family the lord himself is bringing it so a very major breakthrough i have no business saying anything god did not tell me i've not prayed the prayer yet yet you are receiving it is the grace for favor the grace for favor the grace for favor this man will be like a well-watered garden that the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ 
I pray for you, Ma. Please hold my hands in the name of Jesus. The breakthrough that the Lord shows me, let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something. They will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach. I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one. Oh, please hold on. There is a growth. There is a growth. There is a growth. This has been characterized by extremely painful. Your period is extremely painful. But more than that, there is a growth just around your abdominal area. Overflow one. You don't have to come out. The power of God is touching that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, in Jesus name, by the spirit of the living God, we declare your liberty. Complete, total, final. In Jesus name I pray. Praise the Lord. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people to lift people and most times you would notice in my external ministrations i don't have time to minister to people one by one but because this is a miracle service dedicated for that the lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city and it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of god extend to people we'll do it very fast um all of the overflows all of the overflows i would request that you just move those trusting God for healing particularly please I would request that you move to the front of your projector screen that's where you are going to be prayed for um, the ones that spill over do I call that overflow five now I will just request you to be patient we're going to assign a person or two there to minister to you but overflow four three two one and right in here you are here you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the god of heaven to set you free you are here full of faith please stand up please stand up if you kneel there will not be space just come stand it doesn't matter you don't have to come in if you're outside just go to your overflow please hallelujah myself alongside the men and the women of god represented here will be praying for you look how many people are trusting god to touch them hallelujah now please you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak just let them minister to you if there is need to speak any words they will let you know praise the lord there are so many people this night and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you praise the lord pray for just be patient and allow the men of god minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here let the men of God minister to you if you are still being ministered to just focus on the ministration but then for all others just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these Egyptians we see today, that we will see no more. Please agree. Release your faith and believe we are praying. 
we may not be able to prophesy to you personally we may not be able to give you a word of knowledge but this is a representation of your heart your pain your desire your expectation the bible says and thine expectation shall not be caught short stretch your hands and let's agree there is a god that answers prayers is someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we are declaring as the church we are releasing and anointing the divine power of god upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come in the name of jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people we decree and we declare makratos kalambre de keparuza ziakata bradias ile pereto zaziakata baranda gadash kritos kalabarakata balana bush shalabaranda kapuros Lick it, take it, take it, take it, parada bash. We decree and we declare. Manda prados kaziza hashkala baranda kata. Imbre dege debele katos. Arise for your people. By the abundance of your mercy, give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus. Jipra katos kala barakata. Believers pray. We are agreeing. Likato janana kata barados. Jabros katabaranda kata supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power kela barakata soza brenda kedebash lord in the name of jesus we declare supernatural workings of miracles tonight we declare healing miracles. We declare miracles of provisions. We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus. We declare supernatural interception. Angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles. Diverse workings of miracles. In the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles by the divine power of God in the name of Jesus thank you father father we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your the heavens are open in the name of Jesus we thank you for creative miracles we thank you for money miracles we thank you for supernatural deliverances we thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. 
special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus we give you praise oh God uh, in Jesus name we are prayed amen. amen let's give Jesus praise we agree that as we have declared it is done in Jesus name praise the Lord our time is gone please give me two minutes we must do the impartation we have been fasting we have been praying and we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ we are always looking for people to lay hands on always looking for people to prophesy on so every time we talk about an impartation there is hardly an expectation but a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit no matter the quality of your secret place you will need impartation there are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place you will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body hallelujah I pray in the name of Jesus the grace you don't have to kneel please you don't have to kneel the grace that makes for a new level of visions people have lost visions in the body of christ we tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything father the eyes that see genuine visions let there be a restoration let that mantle fall upon someone right now in the name of jesus christ the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit receive it now in the name of Jesus that prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names the grace for the prophetic in a new dimension who is this grace coming upon Mabato Zabarakata Embreketeta upon all flesh, he says, I will pour out my spirit. Receive that anointing now in the name of Jesus. I believe in miracles, and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering round. In the name of Jesus Christ. Upon as many whose hearts are open. Father the anointing. The real anointing. For signs for wonders. Pari gato shalentara makata. Brakatos kebarata. Inside, outside. Especially upon men and women of God. I decree and declare. Let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom It says, doth not wisdom cry. Wisdom speaking says, with me are. It says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. It says, with me are riches, wealth, and honor. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. I declare, the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom. The grace to know what to do. Let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now 
let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas ratakapalusas yadash I want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um, run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the Lord that showed mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now i want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this I confess to you sincerely under God that by the privilege of God's grace I'm a student of the word but I can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you I'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of god verbatim i declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness i believe there is a grace for wealth i believe it i believe there are principles for wealth i believe there are understandings that can bring resources but i believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that god has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus i believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it i decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping 
from assassination, from accidents, the grace that exempts, receive it right now. For you and for your family, receive it right now. Receive it right now. I declare that whatever you have lost coming here, it doesn't matter how long, please believe, release your faith. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I command a sevenfold restoration. I command a sevenfold restoration. Restoration of anointings, of money, of ideas, of relationships, of access, of illumination. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every ministry represented here. Whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders. I declare by the power of the spirit, shift to a new dimension. Shift to a new dimension of teaching, of the miraculous, of the demonstration of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will multiply them. They will not be small. I will glorify them. They will not be few. Whatever keeps you small, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that power is broken over you now. All those trusting God for jobs here, yeah. you are trusting God, you have agreed with God and said, Lord, settle me, give me an honorable job. I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business father the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth. I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value. The grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names, is called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman. And keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare whoever has the power to support you. The power to help lift you. We compel them by the spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding up the prayer and fasting. Many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually. I declare. The fire of prayer. That can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of Jesus every attack on your prayer life let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive the grace to travail Receive the grace to pray. Any evil and wicked company and association around your life. You are not free till your association is free. I declare to you 
you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God I declare a separation between you and the wicked I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Jesus. Let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life, we release them. Listen, listen. Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain. It returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place. Then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now. Anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for all of those who have come from far. I agree with you. I release my faith. Whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting. I agree. The same way Moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face. Return with the grace to prove that you met God. Return with the testimonies that prove that you met God. Return with the signs, the wonders, the transformation, the illumination. Return with the evidences of an encounter. In the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize. But we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight. You will live to testify. Very quickly, please let's, let's settle down.
very quickly please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone there are people here please listen overflow one two three four online there are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight and whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus Jesus is not an idea Jesus is not something and someone you can do without I believe with all my heart that and please prepare to clear the way for them overflow one two three if you are at the door please shift there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle if you will make an altar call I need Jesus I need him desperately I need him truly there are others who are saying I love Jesus but for whatever reason I need a restoration and I need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside I'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first I'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two Apostle, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice do not harden your heart hallelujah if there are anyone's coming just allow them to quickly come i appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision please mean it sincerely and truthfully lift your right hand and say after me believing that jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight I receive your life I receive your grace and I declare please help them and I declare that salvation is mine new life is mine from today till forever Jesus is my Savior is my Lord is my friend I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life amen may the Lord bless you hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain